Hey, Sean Chandler here. I wanted to do a quick channel update as well as do something very emotional, read some mean comments my channel has received over the past few months. I thought that would be a little bit therapeutic for me. But anyway, over this last week, I've put out several videos. I put out a couple of Q&A videos in response to hitting 300 subscribers. It was only supposed to be one, and then I had technical problems, so it turned into two. I also put out a video on how kind of the strategies in general and broad terms that I've used to try and grow my channel over the last while, as well as a couple videos on comic book movies and then yesterday I put out a video talking about my collection. I'm only to the letter H in the alphabet talking through my collection and I've already been talking for a hundred minutes so it turns out this whole talk through my DVD collection is going to be like a six hour long series in case you wanted something so ridiculous as that. Coming up this next week, I've got several fun things coming up. Uh, first off, with a new Harry Potter-ish movie coming out, I think I'm going to do several different movie or videos on Harry Potter. One of them being ranking all eight Harry Potter movies with Tyler Tompkins, a fellow YouTuber with a great channel. I'm going to do a rant, I believe, on why Voldemort is kind of a terrible villain, and I totally don't understand him. And uh, also coming up this week, I'm going to do a couple videos on the uh, few Star Wars books. I've gone through a few of them, so I wanted to talk about them. And I wanted to do a series uh, where, for you that don't have any intentions of reading, you know, Star Wars Bloodline, Star Wars Catalyst, where I just tell you the important information that you need to know. You don't have to read the book, but here, here's what we learned about the Star Wars canon from this book. So I'm going to start that this week, talking about Star Wars Bloodline and what we learned in that book. With all that said, let's get into these mean, hurtful comments. And before we get started, some of these are a little bit hard for me to read, uh, not so much for the emotional weight that it bears on me, but more so because uh, the grammar structure is not so good and they use language I don't normally use. So here we go. Number one, you're simple minded and easily entertained. If all you want is pretty things to happen on the screen, this is a huge leap of faith they are taking and is made for fans and homage they wish to present in today's generation. So move along, sir. You clearly don't know what hype looks like. This rather condescending uh, little comment there was made on my views on the Power Rangers trailer. Word of advice. If you're going to make a snarky, condescending comment on someone's video, you probably don't want to do it when the lofty art that you are defending looks like this. You. Yeah. Well, you think that's something you can do? Well, I got some friends who'd like to meet you. Next one isn't so much funny as it is kind of head scratching. A Christian saying it's better with cussing and death. Oh, America, how you have falling. Um, I don't really know how to respond to this. I actually responded to the comment, but I wasn't quite sure how to because I don't know if it's like an attack on my faith, an attack on America, attack of, of uh, on America as a Christian nation. I'm not really sure except to say if you have a problem with me and my faith, I've, I'm okay with that. Just send me a message. We can talk about it. If this is a Christian, um, like having issues with me liking rated R movies, I would think that you would have concern for my soul and you would message me privately so we could have a serious conversation because I'm not above a rebuke and correction. If it's not a Christian, what a bizarre comment to leave and a very strange thing to do. That one's still got my, me scratch my head. Next one up. This one's kind of long. Get a life, Sean. I don't really care what you think about Star Trek movies. Why anyone else would is baffling. What makes you think your pin is factual? What one person thinks was the best, you might think was the worst. Who cares? I'm certainly not going to follow a channel clearly named after a narcissist. Uh, okay. Uh, um... Yeah, I, I guess this person doesn't understand what makes YouTube fun and what ta makes talk of movies fun because we have different opinions. That's the whole point of it is to spark a discussion and kind of go back and forth. That doesn't make me a narcissist. It doesn't make mine factual. They most certainly aren't factual unless I made some sort of goofy comment in that video where I said, this is the factually, the objectively the best, which is a hilarious joke if someone took it seriously. But <sighs> YouTube, it's amazing. Next up, let's see movies and not so much of you. Useless review. Uh. <laughs> so you want to see movies or videos from the movies, not reviews, but the review is useless. But the only reason you're given is because I didn't show the movies, which is not reviewing the movies. It's just showing the movie. Okay, whatever. 
Next one. B you. <laughs> That's the whole thing. That one's on um, my uh, video from this past week talking about ranking the 14 Marvel movies. Just that. I guess they disagreed on my ranking. That, that one's kind of funny to me. And the last one. Hey, didn't know you were a social justice warrior and a special snowflake. Well, that one is on a video that was about when does a movie bomb or what is a movie bomb? And in it, I talked about Ghostbusters and I did not think that Ghostbusters was a bomb based purely on its opening weekend. Because of that, a bunch of people thought I was defending Ghostbusters and that means that I am a social justice warrior and a snowflake. Piece of advice. If you don't like social justice warriors because of their thoughtless defense of things and taking offense at things, you probably don't want to thoughtlessly label things social justice warriors and take offense at things and label them social justice warriors. You don't resolve extremism and jumping to conclusions by being extreme and jumping to conclusions. That's a counterbalance, but it does not actually become a good idea. It's not part of the solution. It's just a different problem. See, we need actual good dialogue. If you think I'm an actually a social justice warrior, you probably want to try and battle my ideas. Now, if you think I'm a social justice warrior because of what I said, then you don't even know what the term social justice warrior means. You're just one of those people joining a trend, slapping a label on things. Just like you are angry with the social justice warriors for joining the trend of attacking things or defending things and slapping labels on them. You're doing the same thing as them by calling me a social justice warrior and a snowflake. Sorry to tell you. See, the reason I knew I should continue on YouTube and I might someday be successful is because the trolls found me. And whether that's someone cussing me out or telling me not to share my opinion, someone going after me and calling me a social justice warrior, those are the true marks that you have made it on YouTube. When someone is trolling you for no reason at all, and it's hilarious to read. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I like to do these weekly updates, keep a little bit interesting, and hopefully this one was kind of fun and a fun way to poke fun at the weird culture that is YouTube and comment sections. And even as a guy, back when I only had like 40 subscribers, I still had people trolling me and, you know, they're still here even as of this week and I guess it's only going to continue onward. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions or anything, ask me in the comments section. As always, if you like this video, please consider clicking that subscribe button. Talk to you later.